Namibia is currently experiencing a boom in uranium mining and uranium exploration activities and there's little awareness among workers and communities in which the mines are located about the potential health impacts of uranium mining activities. In the summer of 2008, SOMO and its Namibian partner Larry uh, conducted a research study on the impacts of uranium mining on uh, workers and former workers in Namibia. We also organized in October of 2008 a series of workshops uh, designed to raise awareness about the impacts of uranium mining on communities and workers. I could say something about the health effects. The big problem of uranium is you cannot see it, you cannot smell it, there's nothing, you, it's invisible. But it's still a big danger and it's a danger for generations. Because if you dig it out of the hole, if the wind blows it away, if it goes to the water, it will be there for many, many years. And the people will develop cancer, not today, they will have it in 20 years. You take up uranium and its decay products um, through um, solid and liquid food, you inhale and ingest it. And once the radiation is in your body, it harms the body. It can create all sorts of different uh, sicknesses. Uh, primary sickness and related to uranium radiation um, is uh, lung cancer. Lung cancer is proven as being caused by uranium. And uh, new research uh, shows that the radiation effects um, are 100 to 2,000 times more dangerous than previously thought. Many of the mine workers that participated in the workshops explained that the company does not inform them about the potential health and safety impacts of working in a uranium mine. Most of the, of the workers are uh, leaving the company when they are sick and they get stuck with very less income uh, um, and they get stuck with uh, health costs um, for themselves and their families and uh, these are devastating situations uh, where uh, there has been a change immediately. In our travels through Namibia we've seen the health impacts of the mining industry on communities and these are very severe indeed. The, the industry still is in denial about this so we have to work with the community to approach the industry to take responsibility for some of the uh, adverse health impacts. But the community claims are very broad indeed. And um, according to our advisors, our scientific advisors, it is very likely that a lot of the illnesses that the community reports, community members report, are uh, linked to uranium production. And concerning Namibia, we uh, have the situation that there is no sufficient radiation protection law, there is no sufficient uh, or not even any uh, nuclear law, um, uh, it's, uh, everything is in process, but uh, if you acknowledge that dressing uranium mining is done in this country for over 40 years, um, you have to imagine that no governmental laws are controlling whatever happened the last years in this country. SOMO is currently working to expand and enhance civil society networks aimed at improving the working conditions of uranium miners in sub-Saharan Africa. <laughs> Ooh, 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 ooh